Whoa, that was a lathe, not me. Ah, I'm just messing around. But hey, uh, welcome back everybody to Make It Cozy. And today I just want to do make a little video about some deep reach tweezers that I saw in a restoration video recently. And I was like, yo, I want one. So I'm going to make one, right? That's what this channel is all about. Just making your own stuff. So I'm going to start lathing this branch. I'm kidding. I know it's turning. I just wanted to get the aficionados fuming. I'm just messing around. You know, that's how I do it. You know, I just mess around. But not with this. I made my own lathe tool. If you want to check out that video, that'd be dope. I appreciate it. I'll leave a link in the booyah up top. Uh, but yeah, so I just go around using some tools. I had some uh, ones that were pre-bought. And I just wanted to build my skills on the lathe because I have it and I'm a little bit afraid of it. And you're not going to get less afraid unless you jump right in, right? So that's another reason why I wanted to make this video. And similar to my last video, I just wanted to kind of show some of the some of the problems that I encountered and the things that I did wrong and things I wish I'd done differently. So one of them is that that handle is way too long. And granted, this is a deep reach tweezer, but in my opinion, it's just too long. Other thing being is that this little shelf bracket thing is a round bar. Boom! And I wish I would have pounded it out square on all sides to make it effectively a square bar. And you'll see later in the video where I try to coerce it into the shape that I want that it's kind of a nuisance, but it is what it is. That's just one thing about that shelf display hook thing whatever but it's what i had immediately on hand and if you follow my channel you understand that i'm just trying to use the materials that i already have such as that cherry branch and other things you'll see later so this is absolutely not the way you should be doing this this is absolutely the lazy way i took the lazy way out here realized later that this is not working and it won't work because this isn't a lathe. This this little piece that I'm trying to turn right here is the one that's supposed to ride up the tweezers to keep it in the pinched position. And you can see, right, it's so wobbly. I had to go manual, right? So another thing, in hindsight, I wish I would have had the foresight to make, or to whenever the, the whole handle was on the lathe, that I just turned this one specifically to the shape that I needed. So there's a little demonstration of what the uh, the idea is behind these tweezers. And here I'm just trying to get a bit of the twist out and also try to start getting the the loops in the end to for the pinching action to help pinch. But this is another reason why I wish I would have just pounded this whole thing flat because this being flat on the bottom, flat on the top, but round in the middle, not very conducive to, to shaping. But now we got it completely flat, which is good. It's on the same plane. And now I'm just kind of using this guy to try to shape out. And I realize this is way too rounded, way too rounded. There's no way that little spool piece is going to ride up and down inside to pinch. So here I'm realizing that, yes, I have the pinching action flat on the tip, but I realize that it's way too curved. And so I'm just trying to re-flatten out those, those tines.
So after super gluing that spool piece back together, I finally realized that the pinching action and the rounded parts only have to happen at the tip. So that's why I'm using the horn to, to re-round those out. The horn of my anvil. So I got to re-flatten those out because they kind of came out. And you can see, right, you see how it kind of twists in the spool piece? Probably another reason why it failed catastrophically, but it is what it is. We'll figure it out. Now it catastrophically failed. So I worked so long on that wooden spool piece and it would look more aesthetically pleasing, but I had these brass pieces anyways. So I figured metal is more robust than wood. So that's why I just coerced it onto the, onto the tines. All right. So you made it this far and you're probably wondering what's the point, right? So the pinching action of the deep reach tweezers will keep your fingers out of the way. So let's say you've got oil or stain or you have to reach into a bottle that has etchant or acid in it, and you don't want to, you know, get your fingers stuck in there. That's what these are for, right? It'll keep the pinching action for you. And I will leave a link in the description to Boris at FFD Restoration, where I saw them use their own uh, deep reach tweezers where I got the inspiration. And speaking of making it this far, if you liked what you saw, I'd appreciate a subscribe and a like, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.